Okay, welcome to Java Programming 1. This will be our first lab work. And this lab work will cover chapter one of our lectures. So in this lab work, we are going to write a Java code that will display three messages on a screen. So just to display three messages on the screen. Here I'm using the JGraphs. There are so many IDE, which is the integrated development environment online. There's Eclipse, which is free also. And JDKs are also free. But here, I'm, again, I'm using the JGraphs. I have JGraphs and Eclipse. Also, you can get the NetBeans, Java NetBeans also. That also is free online. You can Google it. So JGraphs, when I start a program, this is what I get. The first thing I'm going to, this is a very small program, so I'm not going to create a project but I'm going to create a new Java file. So I click on File, New, then Java. Then here I'm going to write my code. So this is my code here. Again, this code, we are going to write a Java program that will display three messages on the screen. So this is our Question here yeah, they say write a program that display welcome to Java, comma, welcome to computer science, comma, and Java is fun. So we are going to display three these three messages on our screen. So in three lines. So again, we start with our main class, which is public class exercise 01-01. So this is the name of the file. So at the moment, I haven't saved the file yet. I'm going to save it. So when I save, save the file, I'm going to name it exercise 01 underscore 01. So that's the main class. In this program, this is a very small program. So we have only the main method. So public, static, void, main, string, argument, array. Again, we went through the meaning of this syntax. But every Java program, standalone program, must have a main method. The main method is where the execution takes place at. So again, this code here, we are going to display three messages. Welcome to Java. Welcome to computer science. Programming is fun. So in Java, we use system.out.println to display message in our monitor on our screen. Now, when we use print, it means it's going to print the message on the screen and the cursor will be on the same line. Print LN means when we print finish, it will move to the next line. So in the lectures, we discuss about this. Instead of using the escape for uh, slash N, I'm going to use print LN to move the cursor to the next line. So here we say system.out.println welcome to Java. Another system.out.println welcome to computer science. Another system.out.println programming is fun. So here we have three. Again, we can use the, the slash and n and write all these system.out.print and write all these three messages with slash n between to display the message. But here we decided to use system.out.println three times. Again, ln means when we print, the cursor will move to the next line. So we can see most important thing is the open and close carry braces. So we can see the first one we open for the main class will close last. Then the second one we open for the method, the main method will close first. So this is our method and the coding, and they are inside the main class. So here I'm going to run the program. Now I need to save it, but if I want, I will go to build, then I'll say build as application. Then it will ask me the option to save it, and I'll click save. Then here it's asking me what's the name. The name should be exercise 01 underscore zero one because that's the name of the main class and that's what we have here and also we know java extension is dot java 
again, we, all these things are covered already in the lectures. Here is just for us to go through the, some of the coding. So exercise 01 underscore 01 dot Java. And I want to save this file in my document or I can change the location. For now, I'll leave it in my document. Then I'll click save. Then the option is to continue run. So I'll create continue run. So here I run the program as application. And this is my output of, we can see the output where my cursor is. And we can see we have a welcome to Java. I have to scroll down. Welcome to Java. And the next line we have welcome to computer science. And the next line we have programming is fun. So this area is our output screen. Our output. Again, this is console. In the future, we are going to write a going program or going application whereby again we may create a Windows and to be more good. So yeah, this is a console application. So our output is welcome to Java, welcome to computer science, programming is fun. This is our three messages. Again, we use the system.r.println so that when we print welcome to Java, the cursor will move to the next line, then it prints welcome to computer science, then move to the next line, then programming is fun. So this will be the conclusion of our first uh, lab work. Again, this program here, they say write a Java program that would display welcome to Java, welcome to computer science, and programming is fun in three lines. So I use the println. Now let's remove ln and say we want to print everything in one line. And maybe we may have space or comma between. So here I system dot I dot print. But when I print here, I want to have a space, maybe a comma and then space which means I can, we can write all the sentences in one line, but I'm going to leave this as it is. So here, comma, space. Then here, I don't need a comma. Maybe I'll end it with period. So when I run this program, first I'm going to save it. So I click, anytime we modify our code, it's good to save it first. Then here, I'm going to go back to build, then run as application. So we can see our output here. Uh, the output here is not running. So let, let's try one more time. Maybe it's not save. So it's giving me the previous output again. Uh, maybe, no, that's it. So let's run it one more time. And first of all, I'm going to build it now. I will compile it first. So compilation is, now the first time I wrote the code, I haven't run it before. So I just went straight ahead and built it. So it will compile automatically then run. But because I modify it, when I go to build, it will build the old version. It's not building the new version for me. So what I did first is again to compile, make sure I have a, the new version. Now, when I build it, it should work now. So I go to build, run as application and we can see everything is on one line welcome to java comma welcome to computer science comma programming is fun so one thing we should say is that anytime you are writing your code you maybe you execute it run it a couple of times and you modify it it's very important that you have to compile it first before you run it now if i write a code for the first time I don't care to compile it because I don't have any old version of the compiler, which we call the dot class file, object file. I don't have it. So normally I'll go straight to build and run it as application. Yeah, this is a Java application. But if I modify it and I go to build and run it, it will run the old version of uh, the compile file, the object file. So when I modify the, the, the first thing, I have to follow the two steps now, compile first, then after that, we run it. So this will be the conclusion of our first lab work. And in few days, we're going to have our second lab work also. Thank you, wish everybody the best.